Peter Jane Garsai was the original wild, uncompromising riot girl singer on Daisy Chainsaw. After a three-year trip around the world on a boat that her and her current husband built, she returned for a new project, The Fire Flower, and a fantastic new album, Guy Get Down To. I caught up with Katie Jane. Paul, are you in Falmouth? <laughs> no. No. no, we were at the other side from Falmouth. All oh, right, I just read in, um, I think it was a little story that it said you, you were new to Falmouth and you had a boat. No, we got we have a boat. We're, um, the boat is waiting for us around the corner and uh, Falmouth is over the water. Yeah, okay, so it's not too far. And are you going to sail that yeah. boat around the world? We've done that. Oh, you've done that? Okay, what was yeah. that like? That's <laughs> well, in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's it's everything. It's. Um, am I looking at you when I look here? Yeah, that looks good. good. Yeah, there's a I'm giant looking. finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's that's everything, but it's. Uh, Utterly terrifying and utterly beautiful, and so boring and so mind blowing in an overload of information. Or it's all of that in, in you know. There's massive periods of um, the same relentless crossing an ocean, thirty days, the same thing, losing okay. complete track, having no time, having losing. Do you see your life as being like pre-ocean trip and post-ocean trip? Well, you know, it's um, I'm I did it when I was a kid as well, so it's really a part of me. I I'm, I I I ref I'm I'm always in intense longing to go back to it when I'm away away from yeah. it because it does that. They make sense, but in a, they make sense in a brutal, a brutal way. There. Um, so how come you sailed? How come you sailed around the world when you were a kid? That is, you know, that's where it began. That's where the, where it happened. Uh, my my uh, my mum and dad decided that that was a good idea. So we went and did that when I was we left when I was eleven, and uh, came back when I was fifteen. Was that something you'd always wanted to go back to then to resolve that trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's absolutely right. But it doesn't. It actually doesn't resolve. I did have to. I did have to go. You know, we went um, four uh, four years ago, and I did. I did have a sense that I needed to um, to 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 uh, retrace. Retrace those steps and find bits that I, you know, so it was a huge parts of me were sort of drop le left along the way. I think in certain, and I needed to go go back and find those places. And there was a sense of of um, making things right doing that. But I, but we, that's you know, that's where we live. And that's where we, that's where we go back to, but not right now. So, what what were the most profound moments? Um, well, there's um, you know, there's uh, the um, hit hit a whale uh, on the uh, leaving seven days out of the Galapagos Islands, headed for the Marquesas, and that's a huge stretch of water with nothing in it for hundred yeah I think it's uh, don't quote me on this three and a half thousand miles of sort of e empty water and we uh, we didn't know the whale had hit us or if we'd hit the whale and that was a you know that was a moment of uh, it was an enormous whale but uh, uh, It'll come to me. I can't remember. Well, a type of whale. Yeah. 
pump back one. Nice, big boat. And so <laughs> that was a sort of moment where you think you're sinking. And if we had been on a on a boat, um, um, not as well found as ours, we would have sunk. Yeah. So yeah, remember those bits. And there's obviously there's storms and waiting for the storm to come because these days you. With satellite, you do know, you, you know, you know the weather's coming, so it's a sort of a, a sense of anticipation of the storms. Not, not, a, not, not, uh, not, it's not, a, yeah, it's, yeah, there's huge amounts of anticipation and adrenaline going through all that. <laughs> yes, um, but, but, uh, and it's um, probably, it's probably not a great analogy, but I like a war correspondent, you kind of get addicted to that. That kind, of, that kind of a dream. I mean, did it um, put you know life into a context as well? You know, the thin veneer of life. Yeah, yeah, it does. It makes it um, there's. It makes it uh, wholly, wholly real and uh, utterly grateful for when it's not awful. Yeah. <laughs> this, did, it, did this affect your creativity? Or was, I mean, was it a situation you could be creative in? Or did it change your creativity? You know, I think it's where it all came from. Um, because when when we were we did this very, when we were really young, my, my sister and I, my sister now, um, and we were I was eleven, she was eight, and we spent at that point we had no any kind of communications we had no radio system on the boat whatsoever so we were completely completely isolated from the outside world and she and I would, would uh, we made rag dolls and, and um, listened to on battered old tapes to, to uh, the West Side Story soundtrack yeah <laughs> Led Zeppelin things like that and now I've, I've just been writing about that for there's something else, and I thought that actually that's really explains who I am. Really, this sort of empty, em empty, timeless days for a month on end of just playing with our dolls, not knowing the stories, making up stories, West Side Story and Led Led Zeppelin. You know. <laughs> so, so the line from there to like Daisy Chainsaw is is quite well drawn, I guess. Yeah, the dolls, the dolls. Really, I I just sort of stepped into the doll. Yeah. Carried on the story. When you go back, like years later, and do it again, I mean, what way does that affect your your art and your music? In the same way, or is it a different way? Well, um, there's. And over the years, I, I, I started meditating when I was 18, and that was really, that's the one sole thing that I've done that um, can sort of put, th uh, put things into the right place for me and, in a sense, put me back at sea into the, into the formlessness. And um, that's... That's where I write from. I meditate. I meditate particularly last year. I've meditated very, very intently. Mm. And, um, so when I come out of meditation, I, I write before my brain remembers who I before my brain remembers who I am. So I write stream of consciousness and pages of stream of consciousness, and then I leave them for months and then pull them all out and uh, write from there and let the words from that pick me and that's what that's my that's my i found that very to, to be a really good one that really works that really works for me it's interesting like yeah you, you're saying you wait for the meditation to wear off to find out who you are but which one is you the meditation version or the uh the post-meditation version that's the eternal question <laughs> and is that what you're trying to resolve maybe with with art and music not resolve but i i like the i like to uh, um, take t 
take pot luck in the void. <laughs> <laughs> so with, with, with the new project, it's out, the sound of it's, um, it's kind of, you can hear it, you can tell who it is, but the sound is bigger and yet more space in it. Um, is, is that something that came from the second voyage or is that just the way things would be going anyway? Well, who knows? I don't, I, yeah, I mean, the main thing was with that was that uh, doing that meditation and the stream of consciousness from there and being in a house for a little while so we were, we could, you know, we could plug in. Uh, so our, 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 literally our environment dictates that. We haven't been able to do that for many years. And, um, and we, we decided to make a noise, you know, so, mm -hmm. and we improvised. And a lot of those, the big songs on this record are, are, are cut directly from the improvisation. And we didn't re-record, Chris, Chris cut some of the improvisations and there was a song inherently in the improvisation. Uh, and, but, you know, there it was. So, that's a, uh, um, I've, I've wanted that my whole life to be able to, to actually um, catch catch the song as it's conceived and that be it so that you're not uh, constantly reworking, re-recording as you sort of layer and layer and killing it and killing it. Mm. So we were able to get, catch a lot of these songs as they, you know, as, as, as they um, downloaded. You know, that's gratifying. Is that something that comes to meditation as well? Trying to be in the moment musically as well yeah. as... I mean, my whole life, you know, that, that's always been the thing in all the bands that I've been in is to try and catch that the, that thing that happens, the, the live thing, because I, um, I I resist and feel that when it comes to sort of overdubbing or I'm utterly atrocious because then I'm, I, I'm utterly in, you know, my frontal cortex and I'm, I know that I'm here doing this and I'm very conscious of... Uh, trying you know trying or trying not to try and all that trying trying <laughs> trying mm -hmm. and uh, I and I it, for me that doesn't work um I've had to allow it to be that sometimes but even really in Queen Adrena and Ruby Throat we've and Daisy Chip and so we've done everything we can to record the live to have it be the live band the full band not overdone, um, but that's still, still. Even then, you've been in rehearsal for you know, months on end, working up those songs. Whereas we were able, literally, to record these as we wrote them. And that, that, yeah, so. so you finally got to the being in the moment musically that you've been aiming at for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Getting close. Yeah. Well, when did you get back from the uh, from the sea? Um, I realise I've mis me mixed up my timeline. We actually we got back to four years ago, and we were at sea for four years. So we've been paddling around, making the last the last record took us about fifteen fifteen months, um, and uh, we just. We were ju we're just waiting. We should be on the boat now, but obviously the boat's waiting for us around the corner and until uh, until borders are open again. So, so, what's it like getting back after four years? Does it feel strange? Yes. 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 And in um, in some ways. Well, the, the thing that I noticed actually when we came back was that, every, that there was an eyebrow obsession. Everyone had really big eyebrows painted on <laughs> and, uh, and there were flat peaches. I've never seen flat peaches. I've seen those <laughs> flat peaches. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> flat that peaches. But the, the eyebrows, yeah, I still find that quite confounding. So, uh, so. So I guess um, 
what could bring us onto the period we're in now that you're you're quite practiced at isolation <laughs> being in the sea is isolating does that feel the same or is it a very different kind of isolation now um and what to current circumstances mm. is that yeah uh well for us our, our lives have, have changed very little in, in current circumstances because e- even on, uh, on on land we live in an isolated way so, so I, um, I, you know, I prefer, I prefer the isolation on a boat because it's very elemental. So, how do you live on land? You say you live in the very. Was it native? Were you saying? Very what? What did you say? You the way you live on land? It sounded like you said a native way, but it's probably distorting. No, <laughs> uh, no, but it wasn't. It wasn't native. But no, we're we're um. I, Oh, uh, uh, in a, in a, in very much the same, okay. very much the same way. Yeah. It's very, yeah. Um, but our, our our lives with under the current circumstances have not changed really um, from before it all hmm. happened. Um, obviously, we're in a very uh, privileged position, but we live in a in a in a in an in an isolated tiny community. Yeah. I mean, do, what, what, do you listen to any music? Are you, st- are you still got your West Side Story tape? Or <laughs> <laughs> funny, I'd forgotten. But, uh, no, I haven't. It. Um, we we. I I my um, my my little child loves pop music, so there's there's, a, there's quite a lot of, a lot of that going on but actually we 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 don't really it's uh listen listen to very much uh well in fact we don't really i do i've um, been listening a bit and i can't pretend to know anything about this but i, I listen to uh some uh, classical music like Debussy and Mahler and Ligeti uh and I find there's a lot more um, for my untrained ear. There's a lot of unpredictability in there. So I, 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 um, I enjoy that very much. But we don't listen to all of the stuff that we love over the years, you know, for fear of contamination. <laughs> <laughs> to keep your music pure. Try, yes. so is, is that? Is that a zither you got there? What what have you got? What instrument have you got there on your lap? Yeah, actually, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was just. Um, I was. This is an auto harp. I was just playing it while I was trying to while we were trying to work out how to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Talk to you. <laughs> can you play it yeah. at all? Then are you? Can... Yeah, I started playing this in the last year, and I play it like a kid with um, a paintbox, you know. So. Um, but I love it, and it's a portal, and it's given me a way in. To, so I've, I've written songs on my own over the years, but it is uh, it's, um, incredibly crudely, and I still write songs in a very crude way, but this this beautiful thing makes them sound not quite so crude. So, um, yeah, does it suggest so, melodies and textures? Oh, and no, I th- I, this has been amazing, so I've got... I've got, I think, uh, I've got a song called I Am Sundress and Broken Light and uh, Geiger Counter, all written on here that I've written. Written and um, actually, and another one, Blood Berries as well, all written on here. So, I'm, you know, I, I grew up by. Do you like that? Yeah. I mean, do you like the idea of being out of the comfort zone to find different ways of writing? Is it about comfort zone? I don't know. Um, um, no, not well. It's I don't know. No, no, it's not. I, it's almost the opposite. I need to be incredibly um, um, uh, uh, um, 
where the meditation thing comes in again is that you know uh to not i i need to be in an incredibly relaxed state actually yeah. um to be to uh to be to uh <laughs> An incredibly relaxed state to be able to not try. That's it. To be able to. To let it flow. Yeah. What was that? To to let it flow, really. To. uh, Yeah. Yeah, to be able to step sideways and get out of my own way. So, in this period of um, virus isolation, is this a good time for creativity or? Well, um, it's we uh, it, it, we suddenly we were ready to release this record, and we were just going to do it the way that we do it, which is so uh, just uh, do, doing it all ourselves and um, and uh, uh, giving it to our mailing list, and uh, and then everything happened, and then we thought actually we really do need to get this record away. It feels like a record this time mm-hmm. but we couldn't do it the way we usually do it oh hold on are you still there yeah i think oh yeah no you've gone back sideways again yeah is so, it is it back the right way no it's Did the wrong it way you're sideways it's like the boat's capsized <laughs> <laughs> you know what i think also it's probably about to run out of battery as well so I'm probably did. okay we'll probably i could probably get it wrapped up in a minute i mean the one thing i did want to ask you about is is your um your headdress is it yeah. is that like a paganistic thing or a nature thing or is it just i mean it looks great thank you um no it just it's uh i just sat down and made made it and i just feel i was wearing rabbit ears before that and there's something about wearing something on my head that makes me in, a lot more relaxed to be able to talk to anybody about the thing that i do yeah and it's uh uh it's sort of comically ritualistic i think <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay that's brilliant yeah. yeah i'm really conscious it's just going to cut out any minute so i'll try and get a natural ending so uh well thanks for your time Kay jane yeah and good luck with the record i really appreciate it okay thank you, thank you. Yeah. Bye.